Oh, uh, 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 it would it would happen uh, uh, through the stock exchange the way the the way it's uh, provided for in the uh, in the PDR. So every time for that a PDR holder yeah. exercises or creates that right to the delivery of common shares, the Securities and Exchange Commission would necessarily know about it. Uh, in Ipo, we would not necessarily know about it, but the uh, uh, self-regulating organization that we supervise, which is the PSE, uh, would be aware. And the depository as well, honor, in TV, TC, Philippine Depository Trust Corporation, uh, that, that handles, uh, that is the depository of both the underlying share and the PDRs. Okay. Uh, is a foreign is a foreigner who is a holder of a PDR. Is a foreigner. Uh, <laughs> to the delivery of common share corresponding to his or her PDR. No, Your Honor. As is far as the record has there been has there been any instance that a PDR holder, no, uh, a PDSCBN holding corporation, who is a foreigner, uh, exercise the right to the, to the delivery of common share. Ah, exercise their, 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 your, your honor, we would not be aware of that. It would be the Philippine Stock Exchange or the PDTC that would be aware. They would have the record. In the report, the report is not So, hindi po nabibigay ang PSE ng report sa inyo pag sa may mother of transactions because uh, I think that is very important because if a PDR ay the PDR holder na foreigner ay nakalusot at nakaconvert ng kanyang PDR into common share at hindi alam ng Securities and Exchange Commission, hindi po makikita ng step ito. At uh, since there is a requirement no, under our constitution that a media, a mass media corporation should be 100% Filipino owned, I think it is important that PSE reports no, to Securities and Exchange Commission on a regular basis. No? Uh, yes. The exercise of uh, a PDR holder, no, para magkabeng na kanyang right to the delivery of common share. Tama po kayo doon. Uh, ang nangyayari po, the PSC has a mechanism that uh, non-Filipinos cannot acquire uh, rights in, in uh, sorry, cannot acquire the, the shares of uh, media companies where restricted ownership. They also have a mechanism to ensure that other partially uh, partially nationalized uh, businesses, for example, those involving real estate or pillar, uh, keep within the the allowable requirements of the constitution. So, meron po meron po mechanics for a PSC and to comply with that mechanism is reported to us. Ama Okay. So, ibig sabihin po. Uh, wala or wala nakatalusot na PDR holder na foreigner sa ganitong uh, mechanism ng securities na ng, ng PSE. Ibig sabihin, kung ikaw ay gayuhan, holder ng PDR sa isang corporasyon dito sa Pilipinas, ay hindi po talaga makatalusot na magiging mag-convert po ito into common shares ng, ng, ng corporasyon at mapapangalan doon sa PDR holder na gayuhan. That is correct, Your Honor. Uh, as far as we know, uh, there has been no uh, instance where where the nationality restrictions for any of our uh, uh, companies that are engaged in fully nationalized or, or partially nationalized activities have been breached. Uh, and this is due to the mechanism uh, put in place uh, within the, the, the PS. So it is safe to say, uh, it is safe to say that in the case of ABS CBN and perhaps other beta corporations as well. There has been no instance that a foreigner who is a holder of the PDR in that their corporation have been able to convert their PDRs into common share. That is well, safe well, to say. Well, I report sa amin, Papa Pio. Okay. Uh, sabi po ninyo, ang, uh, ang uh, prevailing no, the test ngayon, as far as compliance with the constitution is concerned, is the ownership and control tests, no? And this has been the prevailing uh, test, no? Mula pa ng 
Kaya pa, uh, since 1991? Yes. Uh, since the, uh, since the, the issuance of the Ford Investments Act for, with respect to uh, the National Diva Corporation is based on the capital stock uh, outstanding and entitled to vote. Okay. Since this is the prevailing uh, test, and so far, or as we speak today, there is not yet any ruling of the Supreme Court to the contrary. Okay. Is it safe, is it correct to say that since uh, ABS-CBN started offering, issuing, and selling to the public PDRs, until today, because the Supreme Court has not yet ruled on this issue, is it right to say that ABS CBN has not violated any regulation of the Securities and Exchange Commission and our Constitution? Well, you constitutional issue for using that as a Supreme Court, but but you are as far as we are concerned, well, I'm talking about the answer to the violation of regulations through NAMI, and that's why we are awaiting the ruling of the Supreme at dahil po uh, noong panahon na nagpunta sila ng issue ng PDR, hanggang ngayon, wala pa pong ruling ng Supreme Court, ang kami lang pagkakaalam ay legal po yung kanilang ginagawa dahil po kagasyado naman sila at may permiso at pinayagan ng Securities and Exchange Commission. So is it right to say that ATS CPL all these years no, has been in good faith as far as offering, issuing, and selling PDRs to the public is concerned? I would say both ABS CBN and CMA 7, Your Honor. So, in other words, for my full contact to the Supreme Court, the constitutional it should not be taken against ABS CBN because ABS CBN relied no, on the expert uh, opinion of the very agency that regulates uh, all transactions in, uh, involving PDRs. And as a Supreme Court, na po yun, uh, Your Honor, uh, we cannot comment on, on what the Supreme Court may or may not do. But it is, it is right to say that, uh, it is right to say that uh, ABS did not on its own just offer, sell, or issue PDRs to the public without, of course, seeking the authority and permission of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Had the Securities and Exchange Commission prohibited that, they would not have uh, done the same. No? So, ibig sabihin, dahil so, pinapayagan at uh, inaalaw ng, ng regulating agency like the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, ginawa po ito ng ABC then. Kung lang din, ng ibang media corporations like GMA7. I, I would agree with your statement, Your Honor. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you uh, for the opportunity. Thank you, Rinpo. Next, we get your today, the Congressman Zarate. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. May tanong na rin po yung mga katanungan. Gusto ko na lang magpungan yung point ni Congressman Fortuna. Nabanggit niya kanina yung usapin ng control. At nabanggit rin kanina, and from Congressman Garbin, he cited the case of Rappler. That there was this particular provision sa PDR ng Rappler that uh, questions, uh, which was questioned because it uh, apparently gives control to the foreign holders of that PDR. No? Uh, and that uh, provision was specifically stated in uh, Rappler's undertaking uh, paragraph 12, that's 2, that's 2, point 2, point 2, um, not to without prior good faith discussions with uh, PDR holders and without the appro approval of PDR holders holding at least two-thirds of all issued and outstanding PDRs, alter, modify, or otherwise change the company's articles of incorporation or bylaws, or take any other action here, such alteration, modification, change, etc., etc. And uh, <clears throat> the Court of Appeals declared that uh, that's a form of control. But in both, uh, in both PDRs issued by ABS-CBN as well as GMA, there is also this proviso um, not to alter, modify, 
Uh, the issuer has agreed to cause the company not to alter, modify, or otherwise change its articles of incorporation or bylaws, or take any other action so as to materially prejudice the rights in relation to the PDRs. So, halos magkapareho yung provision na yan dun sa PDR ng ABS at saka GMA. May question now to Dean Del Castillo. Isn't this uh, proviso in the PDR also a form of control by a uh, foreign or whether foreign or uh, a Filipino PDR holder? Uh, isn't this a form of control by that uh, such holder, uh, Mr. Chair? Um, if I may answer. Um, Go ahead, Attorney. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah um, I think the basic difference between the Rappler provision and the ABS CBN provision is that. Uh, in uh, ABS-CBN, this is a negative covenant. The PDR issuer committed that he will do this. But in the case of Rappler, there was really a requirement that there must be prior consultation with the PDR holders and the vote of the PDR holders to the, uh, to, uh, the extent of two-thirds. So one is negative and the other one was an affirmative uh, that you just, you have to bring them in so that they can give you the approval. So, I guess there's a basic difference there because yung isa po, talagang you require them to give affirmative action. Ito on the basis of the covenants given by the PDR issuer in 1999 and 2014, yun ho ang investment consideration ng mga PDR holders. And this form of negative covenant is usual po in all financial instruments. Kahit po sa bankong mag 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 mangutang kayo, meron pong mga ganyang covenants. So it's consistent with the nature of the PDR being a financial instrument. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, uh, Dean Del Castillo. So nabagig ninyo, uh, this, this is common doon sa mga financial instruments. No? Hindi naman uh, unique itong proviso na ito uh, po. sa PDR. No? Uh, para pong halimbawa, uh, Kung ang isang kumpanya ay nangutang, halimbawa, uh, obtain siya ng loan sa isang uh, foreign bank, mm -hmm. no? and mayroong proviso na ganyan, and I, 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 I suppose, no? and I understand, mayroong talagang proviso na ganyan, no? uh -huh. negative covenants and affirmative covenants sa mga uh, loan, even loan agreements. Uh, hindi ibig sabihin nun na yung foreign bank na yon ay may control na doon sa nangutang sa kanya. Tama po ba yung... Yeah. Statement. Tama po yun. Tama po yun. And this is also true. Uh, this is also this true. Dito sa PDR. Thank you, Dean uh, Del Castillo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Now, uh, para lang ho sa arinawa ng isip ko, no? na pag-usapan na yung very technical sa akin itong PDR dahil hindi naman ako uh, pa practice ng uh, corporate practice. So, na, mga dami nang nabanggit kanina, no? But from our general understanding, karapatan ng isang stockholder at Karapatan naman ang isang PDR holder. So, uh, I have a series of uh, questions to Mr. Chair kay uh, Dean Del Castillo. Ang isang stockholder ng isang kumpanya, halimbawa ng ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation or even ABS-CBN Holdings, ay may karapatan siya for the issue ones of a certificate of stock. Is that correct? Uh, yung shareholders po are entitled to certificates of stocks. What about the uh, PDR holder of uh, ABS Holding, uh, CBN Holdings? Meron ba siyang karapatan to a share of, uh, certificate of a share of stocks? Wala po siyang karapatan sa shares of stock. Meron lang po siyang certificate ng PDR rights niya. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Second, yung isang stockholder, ang pagkakaiba lang, gusto ko makita yung pagkakaiba. No? Yung uh, stockholder ng isang kumpanya, Halimbawa sa ABS-CBN Broadcasting or even sa ABS-CBN uh, Holdings Corporation ay may karapatan ng may hawak nito na marehistro yung kanyang pangalan doon sa uh, libro no? ng uh, uh, stock and transfer book of that particular corporation. Tama po ba yun? Uh, Tama po yun. Pero ang uh, holder ng PDR, whether Filipino or foreigner, ay hindi nakalista yung pangalan niya doon sa stock and transfer book ng ABS-CBN holding. Meron pong separate registry. Iba ang registry niya. Iba po. Dahil hindi siya 
Hindi po siya stock certificate. Kasi pwede rin pong i-trade kasi yun, pwede rin ibenta. So meron rin pong registry book. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Pangatong tanong, ang pag ikaw ay stockholder ng isang kumpanya, ay may karapatan kang mabigyan ng notice at umaten ng mga meetings, especially the stockholders meeting of the corporation. Tama po ba yun? Tama po yun. Pero ang isang PDR holder, whether a Filipino or a foreigner, kahit gaano pa karami yung hawak niyang uh, PDRs, is not entitled to a notice of meeting, much less a right to attend a meeting, a stockholders meeting of that. Uh, Tama po yan. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, para rin sa kalinawan, kung magkaroon ng stockholders meeting at magkaroon ng eleksyon, ang isang uh, shareholder ay may karapatan siyang bumoto at pumili kung sino ang gusto niyang direktor sa korporasyon na yan. Tama po yan. Samantalang ang PDR holder, kahit gaano pa karami yung hawak niyang PDRs, ay wala siyang karapatan bumoto at pumili, pumili ng kanyang direktor. Tama po yan. Thank you, uh, thank you Mr. Chair. No. Uh, so, sa pinaman ng uh, pag-exercise mo ng iyong uh, karapatan bilang uh, shareholder, no? Uh, ang isang Uh, stockholder ay sa corporation law ay alam natin meron siyang karapatan or meron siyang preempted rights doon sa mga bagong issue na uh, stocks ng isang corporation. Tama po yan? Tama po yan. Yeah. Ang PDR holder ba ay entitled to Wala have a preempted right. right? Wala pong ganong rights sa PDR holders. Uh, and finally, uh, uh, ang isang uh, stockholder Uh, ay may karapatan na makatanggap ng mga financial reports. Okay. Uh, lahat na report ng isang korporasyon. Basic right niya yun. Tama po yun. Okay. Ang PDR holder, meron mo bang karapatan na ganun? Wala pong ganun sa PDR instrument. Okay. Uh, so, uh, dito na lang po sa huli. Dahil kanina, parang mayroong uh, uh, sinabi nila, marang walang pagkakaiba yan. Ang isang uh, stockholder, uh, at the end of the day, no, kung merong uh, i-declare na Uh, kita ang isang kumpanya, ang kanyang karapatan ay tumanggap ng dividendo. Okay. Ang PDR naman, sinabi ninyo, ay may karapatan siya doon sa cash distribution. Okay. Ano po ang pagkakaiba nito? Kasi sa layman po, pag hindi po natin napailiwalag ito ng maayos, no, ay ang pagkakaintindi na pareho lang yon tumanggap ng pera. Kaya uh, pareho lang yon ang, ang stockholder at, at saka PDR holder ay pareho may-ari yan ng kumpanya niya. Pwede ho ba niyo ipamaliwanag dito? Opo. Yung um, stockholder po is entitled to dividends. So, every time mag-declare po ng dividends ang kumpanya, right po niya yun. And then there are also certain rights na if you know, pag may unreasonable accumulation of profits, he can also compel the corporation to declare the dividends. Yung PDR holder po, walang ganong right. Pero kasi nung binenta yung PDRs sa PDR holders, yung issuer, meron siyang certain commitments. Based po yun ang kontrata, hindi po yung based on shareholder rights. Para din pong ganito yun, ako entitled to dividends. Binayaran ako ng dividendo ng kumpanya, yung ini-expect ko na tatanggapin ko as dividendo, pwede ko kasing i-contract na, alam nyo, pagkatapos kong bayaran ng aking mga utang, ang aking mga expenses, yung sobra, pwede kong i-contract to live ibigay yon kahit kanino. Kasi akin po yung pera eh. So, yun po ang pagkakaiba kasi hindi naman galing yun sa korporasyon. Akin na po yun eh. Yung dividendo na tinanggap ko, parang may proprietary rights na po ako dun. So, magkaiba yun in the sense we call it cash distribution kasi hindi na po yung dividendo coming from the corporation. It just so happened na ang kita ko po ay galing sa dividendo. Pero kita ko po yun. So, pwede ko yung ipamigay, i-donate, o i-contract po sa other persons para ibigay ko sa kanya. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So, uh, bilang pang muling tanong po, uh, Dean uh, Del Castillo, um, nabanggit kanila na itong issuance ng PDRs, no? uh, lumabas itong uh, instrumento na ito dahil nga uh, ito yung nakitang kasagutan doon sa financial crisis okay. in uh, 1999. Uh, although, This kind of instrument has been there in some jurisdictions for quite some time. No? But in 1999, ito dumating sa Pilipinas. 
Now, since then, uh, in 1999 and in 2013, ang ABS-CBN ay uh, holdings, no? Ay nagpalabas ng kanyang TBRs. Uh, nabanggit niyo kanina na because uh, dahil regulated naman ito ng Securities and Exchange Commission, okay. pinag-aralan ito ng Securities and Exchange Commission, in good faith, no? uh, ginawa niyo yung issuance ng TBR so that makapangalap kayo ng uh, pondo no? para i-invest. Uh, ang katanungan ko ngayon, even up to now, no? although they're saying there's a pending case in the Supreme Court but it's not yet decided, until now, uh, you relied, you still relied in good faith that the issuance of the PDRs by ABS-CBN Holdings is valid and not violative of any law, much less our Constitution, um, Mr. Chair. Apa, hindi naman po naki-question up to now yun eh. Yeah. You know, pag binigay po ng government agency having jurisdiction, meron po namang karapatan ang mga tao na mag-rely sa approval na yun. Otherwise, mawawala na po ng kumpiyansa ang mga tao sa mga approvals ng ating government agencies. Thank you, uh, uh, Dean Del Castillo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Kung may naiwan pa akong uh, oras, ay pwedeng ibigay ko kay uh, Dean, uh, ah, kay, kay Congressman Rufus Rodriguez. Maraming salamat po, uh, Congressman Sarate. Natirang ka pa ng 15 seconds magagamit pa ni Congressman uh, Rufus. At bago ko po kilalanin si Congressman Rufus Rodriguez, papaalam ko po sa lahat na ang hearing po natin ngayong araw na ito ay binabantayan ng uh, Philippine Red Cross Nandun po sila sa gallery, uh, Red Cross, Bulacan Chapter, at uh, sinisigurado nila na maliligtas tayo sa araw na ito sa COVID. Palakpakan po natin yung uh, Philippine Red Cross. Next to interpolate is Congressman Rufus Rodriguez at gagamitin na rin po niya yung 15 seconds na natitira ni Congressman Sarate. Take for 5 minutes ni Congresswoman Bayolago, Aragones, Castro at Congressman Mark Bo. Congressman Rufus Rodriguez, you're now recognized. You have the floor. Thank you very much, our distinguished uh, chairman of the two committee, my distinguished colleagues, our resource persons. And uh, I thank uh, Congressman, Congresswoman uh, Diolago, Nikki, Congresswoman Sol Aragones, Congresswoman Franz Castro for the time that they have given to me. Thank you very much. I would like to first ask Mr. Chairman, if you allow me, uh, to ask a question to uh, the Honorable former Dean of uh, the uh, Ateneo de Manila Law School, uh, who was my colleague uh, in the Philippine Association of Law Schools and Law Deans, Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, Congressman Rodriguez. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, to uh, Dean Del Castillo, uh, earlier interpolator showed the certificate of a uh, Philippine deposit receipt. And uh, they said that uh, a uh, holder of one PDR is entitled to one share of the underlying stock, which is uh, ABS CBN. So, uh, can you clarify this certificate of uh, Philippine deposit receipt? There are two rights for granted to PDR holders. One is the cash distribution that we already discussed. And secondly, this is what we call the exercise right. Uh, the exercise right is like an option to purchase a share. So if you have one PDR, if you want to exercise your right, you can use one PDR uh, certificate uh, to exchange it for one uh, ABS-CBN uh, Broadcasting Company share by going through the process of filing your exercise notice, paying the price, and going through the process of having the shares transferred to you. If the share, if the uh, PDR holder is a qualified Filipino, then one for one is the exchange. So I will give you one share for every one PDR certificate that you own. If the PDR holder is not a Filipino national, then the commitment of the issuer is uh, to give you the proceeds of the sale. 
So the one-to-one -one is really not because you own one share for every certificate of PDR that you own, but you are entitled to acquire either the share itself or the proceeds of one share per one uh, PDR certificate that you own. Thank you. Uh, in other words, it is not automatic that when you have one PDR, you are entitled to one share of ABS PDR. Yes, you have to exercise for the, the right. Because uh, let me cite now uh, your PDR. And the PDR states that uh, on the third paragraph of the PDR, it says, this PDR, if I'm now uh, having this uh, uh, ABS CBN Holdings Corporation Philippine Deposit Certificate, which was earlier marked by Congressman uh, Sergio Lagman. And I'd just like to concentrate on this third paragraph. Yeah. This PDR holds part of an authorized authorized issue of PDR granting the holder the right to delivery or sale of the shares of the exercise price as adjusted which PDR have been issued subject to and subject to and uh, with the benefit of a PDR instrument dated October 5. In other words, the uh, right to delivery or sale should be subject to the condition as provided for in the PDR instrument. Is that not correct, Dean Castillo? Uh, that's correct, Paul Congressman. I am reading from the certificate. Now, this mentions a PDR instrument. And I have here a copy of the PDR instrument referred to in your certificate of the PDR. And would you agree, Jim Castillo, that under condition 5.3 of the PDR instrument, which has been marked earlier for the ABS Indian Corporation, it says, if the, and I quote, if the PDR holder is a foreigner and he exercises the PDR, the only right he has is to receive the net proceeds of the sale of the underlying ABS agent share after it is sold through an eligible broker in an open market or BSE, meaning that at no instance will the ABS agent share be delivered to a foreigner. Do you confirm this? as part and parcel of condition 5.3 of the PDO instrument prohibiting, prohibiting absolutely the transfer of any uh, share of stock of ABS-CBN if a PDR applies for it if he is a foreigner. Would you confirm that? That's correct, Paul. He will only get the proceeds of the sale. He will not yes. be able to get the shares. Because under this particular 5.3, of the PDR instrument where he is bound as stated in the certificate of the PDR issued to the PDR holder, certainly there is no automatic entitlement because it is subject to the uh, PDR instrument which I have read. So clearly, in Castillo, Castillo, clearly therefore, in the case of abs CBN, has there been an issuance an ABS CBN share to a PDR holder of ABS Holdings who has exercised this option to own an ABS CBN share. Uh, if he is a Pil Filipino, po, yes, that is his right. If not, mm -hmm. then he only gets the proceeds of the sale. In other words, if he is a foreigner, the instrument itself and the certificate prohibits him from getting a transfer, if he exercises it, he cannot get a share of the ABS-CBN Corporation if he is a foreign PDR holder. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Yes. So, in other words, in this particular case, the issue in this particular hearing this afternoon is Section 11, Paragraph 1 of Article 16, the General Provision, which really states that the ownership and management of mass media shall be limited to citizens of the Philippines. Now, this is this is the crux of the uh, matter that we are tackling this afternoon. And they, those are alleging that there is 
the regulation of aiding and speaking corporation, the applicant for this franchise of 25 years is that a mere holding of a PDR of ADSPDN Holdings Corporation immediately violates the uh, provisions of the Constitution because he is an owner of the ADSPDN. We agree with those allegations that have been presented today. Uh, our position has always been that the PDR holders do not have the right of ownership in the mass media corporation, which is ABS-CBN Broadcasting. It's a financial instrument that entitles him to the delivery of certain cash distributions. And if he wants to get out, then he can sell his shares in the market or that he can ask that his shares be sold and only the cash to be delivered to him. So there's Thank no you. other right. Now, therefore, it is clear that the PDR holder has a contractual obligation with ABS, CBN Holding Corporation, and has no whatsoever, no privity of contract with ABS, CBN Corporation. That's correct, sir. And therefore, if he has not, he has no privity of contract, he has nothing, the PDR holder has nothing to do with the ABS, CBN Corporation, the applicant in this case. That's correct, sir. He is a uh, non-person, a non-entity as far as the broadcasting companies is concerned. And also, he is only a PDR holder of ABS Holding Corporation, and he is never a tax holder of ABS Corporation. That's correct, sir. And therefore, because he is not a shareholder of ABS Corporation. He does not exercise any of the rights of a shareholder of ABS Corporation, the applicant in the state, correct? That's correct, sir. So he has no uh, right to inspect the books. He has no right to... Uh, yes, I will go one by one to that. Yeah. Because to clarify really all these things. Is a PDR holder, I am now citing the right provided for of shareholders, owners of shareholders of a corporation in the revised corporation code. Does a holder of the PDR of ABS CBN Holdings Corporation has the right to the issuance of a tax certificate of ABS Corporation? 